Well, hello, all of you beautiful Bohoish souls. My name is Cherie, and this is Bohoish Me. Welcome, or welcome back to my channel. Well, I know it has been a hot minute, kicking off my house shoes, since my last video. Well, actually, it's been two weeks, but it does feel a lot longer than that. I hope you all are doing really well. I hope you all had a wonderful Mother's Day. Yeah, that first week um, with Holy Week, there was just no way. There was just no way that I could do a video. I just had a lot of services and um, Sean had taken off some time so that we could attend more services this year and it was stunning. It was beautiful. It was just so meaningful. And, um, but yeah, it just wasn't, I just wasn't able to do it. And then the following week, I was exhausted. <laughs> I was so tired and I just needed a little bit of downtime. So I really appreciate you all so much. So what are we doing today? Today, I think I would like to just show you guys a really cool technique I found for decoupaging. Decoupaging, I love it because it changes the whole look of something. You can be totally bored with, you know, a box, a candlestick, a this, a that, and just to be a piece of furniture. And then to decoupage just really brings something that has become stale to us and a little boring kind of exciting. So I have two styrofoam heads that hold my fedoras and I'm just tired of looking at the white wig heads. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and decoupage them. I learned a technique that has been working really well for me and that is printing my own pictures that I want onto just plain old white tissue paper that you use for putting in gifts. It, it just turns out beautiful. So I'm gonna show you how to do I that. I did rearrange my living room a little bit. Remember this gray chair was over underneath that picture and I moved it over here. Hello. Say hello. Hello. Vicky's under there. But I moved the chair over here and I, th I just felt like that chair was just too close to this chair. So, and then I just moved it over a tad and put my table underneath the painting. That's my Mother's Day balloon that I got from Sean. <laughs> and my flowers. Another thing I've done is I have continued painting. I have added my artwork to this wall. These that are framed are on paper and that's why they're framed. But these that are not are on canvas, wooden canvas. And so, yeah, this one is my latest one. I just finished that. Uh, yesterday actually. It's kind of cool having them up. I really enjoy it. I kind of have to put them up because my house is so small that I, I just really don't have anywhere else to put them other than up on the wall. And then this one is the largest one I've done so far. I really, I'm really enjoying it. So what you're going to need to do this is well, first off a printer and then a few pieces of uh, printer paper. And you're gonna want to take and cut uh, some tissue paper and cut it to where it's just a little bit smaller than the printer paper because you don't want it to get caught in the printer. And then you're just gonna take some tape and you're gonna tape down the tissue paper really well uh, in the, in the, you know, at the end that's gonna feed through the first into the printer because you don't want it to get caught. And then uh, you might wanna put a little on the side 
especially. I try to use as flat tissue paper as possible. Uh, crinkly can, can be a problem. Um, and then I just do a couple at the bottom. I'm not too worried <clears throat> about making sure that the tape goes all the way across. I do on the part that's going to feed through first. And also you will want to have chosen a couple of um, prints that you want to print up onto the tissue paper. I'm just going to use a couple of my own original uh, prints, uh, but you can find them anywhere. Anything that you like. I'm going to finish these pages and then I will run them through the printer and I'll show you what it looks like. So what I've done is, because I take pictures of all my, my work, my artwork, I chose a few that I thought would look really cool because it, it once it's onto the um, styrofoam head, I thought it would look like they had been hand painted. So I thought that would be kind of cool. Oh, it's like watching paint dry. but it's worth it. So you're definitely going to want to let the tissue paper dry. The ink is gonna be wet for a little while. And so just keep printing what you wanna print, set these to the side and let them dry. And they'll be absolutely stunning decoupage papers. Alrighty, so I have the four pictures that I had selected, I did change two of them. Yeah, I think that's gonna be really cool. I think they're gonna look like I've hand painted these ladies. I've never done this before, so we're learning together. <laughs> it's just gonna look really nice. I think, I hope, fingers crossed. Here we go. Okay, so I have my styrofoam heads. I put my jewelry and stuff on them along with my hats and I have all my my papers. So I'm going to go ahead and get them nakey nakey and then I'll get started. All right, so I have my Mod Podge right here. I'm using matte. I'm not using shiny. And I have these silicone paint brushes. I like to use these uh, with decoupage because it just causes it to be a very nice smooth line um, of Mod Podge and there's no brush brush strokes in it and they just don't get caught as easily so I like that. So this is the first piece and you're going to want to be careful taking it off. I mean I guess it really doesn't matter because we're going to be ripping the paper anyway. The part that gets really messy is where the tape is because that that ink <laughs> does not dry on the tape. So it can get a little bit messy. And so now you can see I have a really nice piece of decoupage paper. And what I'll do is I will rip all of these, whoops, I will rip all of these into various pieces. No rhyme or reason. And then I'll just begin to stick them on. So I'm gonna prep all my papers right now. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the pieces of paper and I'm just going over the back side with the Mod Podge and just carefully picking it up because it will rip easily. And then I'm just applying it to the head. And it does rip, <laughs> but that's okay. I just kind of wanted something a little different. I was kind of tired of just looking at the white heads and I suppose that I probably could have just painted them or something, but I don't know. I just had something else in mind, you know, and I actually 
don't think I'll finish with this. I think I'm kind of getting inspiration to add even more to it, but that won't be today. And just getting around. That's another thing when you're using the um, tissue paper. It just is so easy to mold versus if you were using regular paper or like magazine pages or things like that, which all can be done, but it, it, it just, oh, that's cool. Look, it looks like an eye with an eyebrow right where the eye is. And I, I know this may not be for everyone, um, you know what would be really pretty, it, and I did think about doing it, was uh, doing florals. But, you know, I'm a little more, um, I'm not a very floral person, per se, but I think doing this like, okay, someone like Ivy, oh my gosh, she has so many of these styrofoam heads. It would look gorgeous in her house, like with florals on them like roses or peonies or something like that would be amazing. Isa, I would say, well, she doesn't, I don't think she has any of these, but um, I think hers would probably be more like in muted tones, like maybe abstracts and like cream and white and, and black, stuff like that or maybe really funky 70s um, shapes and florals. I almost did 70s florals. In fact, you know what? I might actually hold off on this one. I think I might do that one in the 70s florals that I had actually saved um, before I, ch I had changed my mind. I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. I had all these ideas of how I wanted to do it and and I'm really enjoying just splashes of color and deconstructed paint and all that kind of stuff right now and so I thought this would be kind of funky fun I think I'm going to do this one different so bear with me on this one this one I'll probably work on next week and then I'll show you in next week's video. I won't show you the whole process because I'm showing it to you now, but I'll, I'll show it to you when she's all, when she's all finished. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do them two different ways. All right, so as I'm applying this Mod Podge, I'm going over it gently to seal it in. I don't want to forget the areas, you know, like I, I don't want to forget any area and not protect it on the outside as well. All right, so I'm going to finish her up and then I'll show you. she is. I think she kind of looks like a sculpture, like a little piece of art. She's still drying in a few places, but I think she turned out really cool. And I'm going to add some things to her, I think. It's kind of inspired me a little bit. Well, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. The decoupaging is really fun. I enjoyed doing it. It was the first time doing it on these um, styrofoam heads, but I've done a lot of decoupage over the years. 
And this technique, I just really think it's my favorite. And you can use it for so much. You can use it on furniture, you can use it on candlesticks, you can use it on collage. And it just makes for something very interesting. And you're not stuck having to use what you can find in the store. So the ability to do whatever you like is there. There's nothing stifling you. You find a picture you like, you can use it to decoupage. I hope that you guys try it out. If you do, let me know. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and comments are always welcome. If you've been enjoying my content and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And remember, it's not where you live, but how you choose to live. Until next time, bye.